Yesterday, I made a video talking about the Jacob Truba situation going on with the New York Rangers, and today we have more news and updates to take a look at here today involving the Jacob Truba situation, which has definitely gone and I'm sure a not great way for either Jacob Truba himself and his family or obviously the New York Rangers as well, who seem to be looking to possibly get rid of, you know, whether it is possibly end up waving him and buying him out potentially, or possibly looking to trade Jacob Truba away. I'm sure the first, you know, scenario there for the Rangers would be to ideally trade him away and not have to retain any money on him as well. But Either way, it's going to be interesting to kind of see whether or not he actually does end up returning to this Rangers team because as the days go on there, after that Detroit Red Wings trade there for Jacob Trouba kind of fell through there, it seems like on July 1st at the start of free agency, there's definitely a lot of question marks on whether or not Jacob Trouba will actually get the move away that the Rangers have been looking for, which Jacob Trouba seems to be very keen on kind of staying with the Rangers here and not being moved at all. And when this trade went down back with the Winnipeg Jets, sending him over to the Rangers there, I'm sure the idea was for Jacob Truba to be a top pairing kind of guy on this Rangers team. And if not a top pairing guy, at minimum, being a top four caliber guy, which he has proven to not be, especially over the last couple of seasons here. This is not the first kind of playoff run or a season where he has not lived up to expectations of an $8 million player or what they obviously gave up to get him as well, because the assets that were given up there were quite a bit. You know, a first rounder, Neil Pionk, is definitely not cheap at all. So that was was a pretty kind of pricey deal to go up there and get a guy who was not lived up to the expectations of an $8 million player. You also give up some big assets and he's truly kind of being more of a kind of bottom pairing guy and a liability at moments that we definitely saw throughout the playoffs as well. And although, like I said, he has not been great, been more of a bottom pairing caliber kind of a defenseman with an $8 million price tag for this year coming up in the next one after that, there still seems to be quite a bit of trade interest for Jacob Truba as there was a kind of reported or rumored deal there possibly sending Jacob Truba over to Detroit Red Wings there. So it seems like they had some decent interest in trading for Jacob Trouba there to kind of help bolster their back end. And they also did trade away Jake Wallman uh, a little bit before that as well to open up some more cap space. So maybe that was kind of a corresponding move there to kind of get rid of Jake Wallman there, open up that cap space to bring in a guy like Trouba. That is a possibility there. We're not sure exactly, obviously, what the deal could have looked like, whether it was an asset, you know, coming back to the Rangers for Jacob Trouba or an asset going with Jacob Trouba to kind of take on that contract for them to get him. We don't know exactly what would have happened there, but we do know that there was a kind of rumored deal that could have happened between the New York Rangers and Jacob Trouba getting sent over to the Detroit Red Wings. So I'm sure they have interest. But we also have a new report here from Sports Illustrated. As they say, according to the fourth period, Jacob Trouba is number two on their summer trade watch board and four teams have reportedly been linked. The Detroit Red Wings there, who obviously have rumored to kind of had a trade there possibly going down. Also, though, the Buffalo Sabres, Anaheim Ducks, and Nashville Predators have all reportedly expressed interest in Jacob Trouba, who has, you know, two more years left that eight mil is more of a kind of, you know, bottom pairing caliber guy at this point, but does have some good characteristics that a team like, you know, Buffalo or Detroit, who are always trying to make the playoffs there would want, but also a rebuilding team like Anaheim there, who's kind of trying to slowly maybe make that push towards the playoffs and a team like the Predators there who are trying to go on a possible, you know, long playoff run after they made some monster moves and monster signings in for agency going out, out there and getting a guy like Brady Shea, obviously John the Marsh is so who was a big target for the Rangers and a guy who I wanted to see them sign as well and also a guy like Steven Samko so they went out there acquired some big fish in free agency they might want to add in a guy like you know Jacob Truba there who obviously could kind of provide some possible stability there on the back end there bring that toughness the physicality the leadership you know he's a very tough player has a lot of playoff experience there has helped us get to you know two Eastern Conference Finals although he has not been the best player he's been a part of this team he's been the captain he's a leader he blocked a lot of shots you know can play a physical tough game can fight a bit can do that kind of tough stuff there obviously sometimes goes over the line a bit there and can be a little dirty but for the most part there I think he does a pretty good job there kind of towing the line there and not going too overboard there and obviously getting too suspended or kind of doing anything too dirty there I think for the most part there he's a clean hitter a very solid player but definitely not a great one and at moments can definitely be a bit of a liability like I said we saw throughout this kind of playoff run especially this passing but it's not the first time that we have seen Jacob Trubino you know, not play great and be a bit of a liability and definitely be nowhere near worth an eight million kind of dollar guy so it's kind of interesting to see there that there are actually are possibly teams who really kind of want to trade for him. Although we don't necessarily know kind of if the Rangers would have to give up some stuff alongside Truba, would it be, you know, a pick or two or a prospect? We don't exactly know what it would be going alongside Truba to whichever team it is. And we also don't know if the Rangers would get anything back in return. Would we get a pick or a prospect back in return for Truba there? I can't imagine we'd get anything too crazy back in return because Truba has not played great and he still has two more years left with an $8 million cap, which is quite expensive for a guy who was not a true 
true kind of, you know, guy who's really kind of shown consistently to be a true kind of top four or top pairing caliber guy. This is more of a guy, kind of guy who's been playing like a bottom pairing kind of guy. So it's a big price tag for someone like that. But do these teams want that leadership, that toughness, the physicality, all that stuff that he can bring? We'll have to wait and see kind of what happens and what goes down here. But another kind of wrinkle in this whole thing possibly happening and him getting traded away to any other team is the fact that it seems like he's really keen on kind of staying around the New York area, it seems like, and staying with the Rangers there to obviously be a lot closer to his wife, who is, still has, I believe, one more year left of her kind of residency with a, a New York hospital there, which is kind of been you know, rumored around there. So... We don't exactly know what's going on, you know, on the Jacob Truba kind of family side of things. I don't want to dive too much into that, like, like I said in the previous video, but this is an interesting situation there where Jacob Truba obviously wants to stay close to his wife there where she's working, stay in New York there. And a team like, you know, Anaheim, for example, that is nowhere near New York there. That is very, very far away. And he does have a 15 team no trade list, leaving, you know, 16 other teams that he could be traded to. But there obviously could be a chance where he doesn't kind of, you know, threatens to not show up to a team possibly. So where some teams might kind of get scared away from that and definitely not want to give up an asset or two or even just kind of take on that contract if Truba were to kind of possibly hold out, which would definitely be an interesting situation. They're not saying he would or would not do that, but that's just kind of an option for Truba there if he really kind of doesn't want to go anywhere else but stay with the Rangers for this upcoming season. That's kind of a possibility there, but the Rangers also have the possibility of buying him out at some point this offseason as Ryan Lingard ended up kind of fighting for arbitration there, which opens up the second buyout window for the Rangers so they can kind of say, you know, hey, Jacob, if you don't want to get traded away, we could just end up buying you out there and now kind of getting rid of him there. So it'll be interesting to kind of see what happens there. He could get bought out still. He could get traded away or he very well could end up staying with the Rangers, which I think at this point is the most likely scenario. I know a lot of Rangers fans don't want to see that happen and they want to see him traded away or get rid of him or bought out. I kind of agree with that. I think he should probably kind of move on to another team, but either way, it's a possibility he could come back here. And at this point, I think it's more likely that he comes back to the Rangers there than ends up getting that buyout or possibly ends up getting traded away. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel a ton. I would really appreciate it. And I do post daily New York Rangers content. So if you are a Rangers fan, there is no better place on YouTube than this channel here. I post every single day detailed, in-depth videos talking about the Rangers here, all the things going on with this team. I'm a big fan of the Rangers. And if you are as well, this is the place to be. And also, don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this interesting and kind of weird and unfortunate situation involving the New York Rangers and Jacob Truba. It's not a great spot to be in for either side here with Jacob Truba wanting to stay with this team, it seems like, and the Rangers possibly wanting to kind of get rid of him and get off that contract. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, but let me know your thoughts. Do you want to see him bought out, traded away, or possibly remain with this team, which is still a possibility, although it may not be the best option for this Rangers team specifically if they want to win a Stanley Cup in the next couple of seasons. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.